Um, explainability, I think, is the core of finance. Without it, you are not doing finance. You're not doing quant finance. I think you're just kind of gambling. And to your point, there are a lot of big funds that are doing that. Uh, but we'll see deviations, right? You are bound by some model, and it seems reasonable. But if something blows up, I mean, LTCM always comes to mind. It's a common example. If we see some sort of giant deviation, we have large losses. Like, how is that going to be explained to the public? How's that going to be explained to the government? Because, I mean, they're not finance people. They don't understand it. And typically, we get hit with regulations after we have a public issue. I mean, imagine some big fund does that and it explodes. Um, I think regulation is lax right now, given our political environment as well. So I think hedge funds are running for the hills right now trying to capture on that. But I think we will see a swing back once something kind of blows up. The regulation will follow, of course. Regulation will follow with the lag compared to what's there right now, right? With the changing in uh, EI landscape. For example, uh, here in India, uh, SEBI is asking uh, stockbrokers uh, who are using uh, any form of uh, AI models to suggest trades to their customers. Now, they've still not yet gone down the route of uh, asking to explain this, but uh, that'll come down at some point of time, right? Of course, trading firms need to have like some form of AI governance policy, skills, which is etc. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out.